We're going to break it up. Bridge. Come on. I'm not going into the corner, right? I'm oversteering. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and let us play some Assetta Corsa Compizione. I will actually be doing this again, a new career. So you join me this time for longtime viewers who've followed me from multiple other channels. This is probably like my third or fourth time redoing the career in Assetta Corsa. It's like unbelievable. So. Let's try it all out with a wheel, because I haven't really done that yet. I'm really excited to. Yes, best lap time at Monza. In a Lamborghini Huracan GT3, unlike previous times, I actually do have the ideal line on because I don't want to suck as badly as I had previously. And here we go, immediately missing our first braking point. <laughs> Uh, tires are not yet warm. They are really not warm yet. We're coming through turn three. Nearly flat out. I'm just excited to do this all over again. As, as many people would probably be moaning about doing a set of Corsa. The competition. Compizione career mode for the third to fourth time. A set of courts of Compizione is just a wonderful game to be playing in the first place. But yes, um, since I'm now in a completely different play style, I'm going to have to relearn pretty much all the breaking points where my gear shifts are going to be, how long it takes for tires to warm up. Because I want to say braking... Oh, yeah, that's right. I have a ideal line that tells me. But it's said to accelerate through all of that, and that's not true either. That's really not true. <laughs> As I'm going rallying in a car that is definitely not meant for rallying. I do remember those boards there being our breaking point earlier. So I'm going to be utilizing that there. Monza, a whole 11 corners. Four of them are, at, le at least five of them are difficult in my mind. 300, 200, 150, I'm going to start at 150. That was a really good breaking point. I still felt really through, really slow through that chicane there. So hopefully we're gonna at least start setting some laps and start understanding where time can be improved because I've I know I've got a long way to go. I really do. Like that still, it looked like I braked early, but at the same time too, I felt like I broke late. I'm not sure. I felt like it broke late, but apparently I was early, so I don't I don't even know what's going on. And the good old track lap invalidator is back. Track limits. Please use them. So coming down this straight here, uh, turn eight into this little fun chicane. I want to say that bridge is kind of the breaking point. This car's got a lot of power on the rear wheels because as it's coming out of that, the entire thing just kicked out. I've got to be really careful about that. Because I cannot be holding full throttle through turn 9 because that's <laughs> a bad idea. <laughs> got to give a little bit of throttle here. There we go. The Parabolica, turn 11. That went pretty alright. 
I can't. I still can't remember what the times, the um, lap times are supposed to be on this course. I know F1 is like 140 or something mental like that. I just don't know what a uh, Huracan is. Back in kind of swapped out a little bit, coming out of well turn one and gave my entrance to turn two. Kind of an awkward well again entrance. So let's see if we can at least line up this corner right. And apparently turn six is my problem for track limits. So I'm really just hoping that I get turn six right. I want to say second gear is going to be the correct gear for that corner anyway. That was turn four into five. Because I was looking at the map, I broke a little bit early. And honestly, I think that was the right decision. Losing a little bit of traction off of the curbs there. Going to... Touched the curb on the inside there. Didn't quite actually get there. We're very close to the apex, though. Whew. I feel like I'm starting to wake up a bit. Starting to really get back into the groove of things. As if there was a groove to begin with. I got to break a little bit there because... If I, if I didn't quite go tight to the apex that time, if I gave it a little bit more space to stay more on the pavement on the outside of turn nine. Outside? No, it's kind of towards the inside of turn nine. I think I would have had a better entrance to turn 10, which would have quite drastically reduced time. But we're now into the two minutes. I'm feeling good about it. We've got three minutes to 30 seconds. We've got a lap. So we can set two laps here. So we're going to break here and hope that was early enough. Yes, it was. I was not paying attention to the brake markers. I saw 300, then 200, then I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> that came up fast. We're already down by two tenths. I'm very... I don't know where I made up the time, but I made it up somewhere, so let's keep pushing. Want to say it was 150-ish? Not quite. A little bit before 150, that's for sure. Second gear is where we're going to carry it all through. I feel like I wasn't out of the power soon enough on the way out. I was too early on the brakes again. And I was very, very slow through that corner in general, but slightly safer. Problem is, we're not going for safe laps, we're going for fast. And yet, I'm still two tenths down. Eh? Whatever it is, I'm, I'm not going to complain. Breaking at the bridge into turn eight. Third gear. Touch the apex. Riding the curb. Tap the brakes. Nice. And we are three quarters of a second down. Unbelievable. So we're going to go to our whiteboards. Down to third gear. Just lightly feather the throttle through it. Got a little bit of a kick of oversteer. I was able to correct it. All right, so we've got one minute 38 to set one more fast lap. We shaved quite a bit of time off of that. About six tenths, more than six tenths. Where's our final breaking point? Is it going to be 150? It's going to be 175 is my determination. 175 is a good number because we are well into this corner. Oh, three tenths down. Beautiful. Whatever we did there, beautiful. Going through our very... I honestly love this corner. This is fun because you're going flat out, but you're turning at the same time. It sounded a lot more profound in my head when I was saying it, but we've managed to do all right there. Still maintaining the 3 tenth advantage. I'm going to break a little bit later. I'm going to see if I can keep a little bit of throttle here. I'm already going a little bit wide. Oh, we didn't invalidate it somehow. 
I have no idea how that track time was not invalidated, but I felt like I was going very wide. I almost felt like both tires were over the curb, so but I am excited. But that did, in fact, cost some time. I am right dead on where I was with my fastest lap of 2 minutes, 0.35. We're going to break it up. Bridge. Come on. I'm not going into the corner, right? I'm oversteering. That didn't feel like a fastest lap anyway. I mean, that first half was good. That first half of the lap was good, up through turn six. But apparently me freaking out about track limits or not on turn six is what did me in. Then I started to lose focus, I started to lose pace. But it happens. I'm hoping that a near two minute time is going to be competitive enough. I don't know where I'm placed. All right. I mean, not knowing where everybody else is, that's... I mean, it is what it is. Um, I do remember with controller, though, that I was... I'm pretty sure I was a couple couple of seconds down so the fact that I'm only one I'm feeling pretty all right about I lost yeah looking at the time sir I've got three tenths I need to make up in the final sector which honestly could be that turn eight nine and ten segment absolutely I'm surprised because I feel like I still somehow can make up time off of the turn one two chicane but I am nearly bang on. I've got six hundredths I've got to make up. I don't know about you, but that's as, as far as I'm concerned where I'm currently sitting right now. I'm very all right with that. But yeah, it's sector two where it has uh, four and five and six and seven, six and seven. I feel like I've got a lot of time I need to make up. So on to Monza and the Rain.